Hey, Gemini, this is, uh, who am I? This is Soul. <laughs> okay. Gemini, this is your week ahead. Uh, Energy is beginning February 3rd and ending February 9th, 2020. The messages will be for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Gemini Rising Signs. All right, my fellow twins, I hope all is well. New week, new energies. I am using the uh, Venetian uh, tarot once again this week to... Um, Come up with your energies to see what, what comes up for you potentially for this week. And um, see if there's anything else. Nope, there isn't. Let's get underway with your uh, energies. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. There may be some reversals here just to give you a heads up. But without further ado, let's see what the energies are coming up for my fellow twins. Energies for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Gemini Rising Signs. Energies, energies for the week of February. Oh, we got two cards. Oh, no, we have three cards that fell out. Okay, so we're going to use them. And one of them is part of your energies. The other one is a major arcana and a court card, king of cups. Well, we'll get to that. Three of swords shows up here. So we're going to use that energies. Uh, shadow card energy for you, uh, Gemini, relates to that of... Now we have the Queen of Cups, so we have two court cards here, all right, emotions, emotions in a good way for some of us, emotions running high uh, for the others, and I say that because of the three of swords that had f uh, fallen out here, so this could go both ways, so, but in the instance of sticking to this energy alone here, Gemini, this is the mother of all love, she's caring, she's nurturing, she's supportive, uh, it could also represent a male's energies, the same energies that are going to be said about the king uh, of cups that has uh, turned over while I was shuffling the cards. Uh, this is a relationship card. So part of the energy is uh, trusting yourself since we have both the king and the queen here. Most definitely for you, uh, Gemini, to trust your own instincts. Go with your gut. Always go with the gut because that's the correct answer. Uh, and so these cards are falling out here to help guide you. If there's any uh, decisions to be made, because the three of swords here represents possibly for some of you having to make three choices. Some of it may be painful. OK, three of swords is in the upright uh, that has fallen out. That represents your energy and the energy of uh, the other air signs, Libra and Aquarius, male or female. So I'm going to get back to this three of swords, the major arcana, the hangman also fell out in the upright position. So this is normally about having to give yourself enough time to evaluate uh, whatever the situation is that may be coming up for you or you, you know, you might be confronted with or you have to deal with this upcoming week. In the reversal of that hangman, the hangman always says that you have given yourself enough time to think about it and now you're ready to move forward. Uh, and the upright, however, is give yourself just a little bit more time, whatever the situation may be for you uh, coming up this upcoming week. King of Cups here is, again, the same energies as the Queen of Cups. Pay attention to your intuition, trusting your uh, instincts this upcoming week. Of course, the, the uh, father of all love is uh, supportive, emotionally um, nurturing or caring. Uh, yes, there's an offering There's an offering for, yeah, there's definitely an offering coming for someone. But I also feel that this offering has to do with a separation or some type of energy related to a painful choice or decision. That's what I'm getting intuitively. I'll stick to that. Anyway, um, your focus, however, is on the higher font, Major Arcana. Major Arcana is that card that comes through. Um, the higher font major arcana that comes through is the card of, um, of course, keeping the faith and the hope alive in any given situation is uh, the teaching and learning uh, type of energy. It also could represent a uh, priest uh, when it comes to religious matters. But I, you know, oftentimes pick up more spiritual energy from the higher font than I do religion. Some of you could be going on some sort of uh, spiritual pursuits. Uh, this upcoming week or heightening your spirituality. That could be a possibility as well. If any pentacles throw up or come out, not throw up, if they <laughs> if they come out, then it could be that 
the Hierophant uh, that represents Taurus, the other Earth energies, Capricorn and Virgo might mean that there's something going on with on the job training. This is uh, dealing definitely the Hierophant comes through uh, related to our politics. So this could be the government. Uh, also, it could be, um, you know, representing higher institutions. But the main focus is to keep faith and hope alive. OK, so this also could represent um, since the king and king of cups and the queen of cups is showing up there. Somebody could be getting married. This card also represents marriage or because the king and queen has shown up. There might be somebody who may be dealing with a situation because this is div uh, pending divorces, separation. Uh, and these are minor um attributes that are showing up here i'm just tying in some some energies because if you look the king is in the direction of the three of swords okay this would be the final result of, excuse me this would be the final result of some sort of separation and it's uh, related to a person uh and then the middle card here the hangman may have something to do with giving yourself enough time uh, before you forge ahead, okay? Because it might relate again to having to make three painful decisions or choices, or it could be that the cups that represent offerings, offerings of three things that might be uh, painful. So it all depends on what's going on with you this upcoming week, uh, Gemini, and what situation you possibly could be dealing with. All right, so let's Continue with the energies here. The Hierophant is the Major Arcana. And remember the Major Arcana that starts you off. And this is a very positive Major Arcana. So don't get me wrong when I'm tying in all these other energies that I'm picking up here. And that's what I do. Uh, you know, some people may not like it, but that's just the way it is. The Hierophant is the uh, Major Arcana is positive. So it, it necessarily or not necessarily will diminish all of the other energies that will follow through. Um, but it will um more or less temper it down okay so let's hope for the positive that nothing beyond the three of swords shows up here for us okay crossing that higher font what's going on with the higher font being crossed the four of swords okay this is more of your energy so this is what i like when the elements show up for the sign that i'm reading for and this is the card that always comes through it's the card of rest relaxation uh rejuvenation disconnecting your energies from um you know your work situation uh your romantic relationship your friendships even some energies related to the family unit uh this is solely doing energies that relate uh specifically just for you okay because this four swords is part of the uh well swords in general are part of the challenge sometimes mental challenges all depends on the degree or the sword that shows up here and this is sort of like minor for some of you but it's still uh, a little bit of turmoil. So it crosses the higher font. So, yes, turmoil going on uh, related to our government politics and stuff like that. So it's asking you to take a break, uh, you know, if it's only on a temporary basis, just so that you can rebuild, uh, rejuvenate your energy, do something for yourself, disconnect. Um, also, too, it's all always about going back to your independence or redefining your independence. When we become, you know, too attached to our work, to our relationships, uh, whether it's romantic, platonic or family, uh, we get enmeshed. OK, and sometimes we lose ourself uh, involving uh, too much energy. So pull yourself back a little bit if that's what you're experiencing or maybe experiencing this upcoming week. Do something just for you. That doesn't include, um, you know, the extension of other people around you, because you can see the soldier sitting here. He's he's like taking a nap or something so that's resting and i had mentioned when this card shows up um in other videos that you know some readers that i i happen to follow think that this is the worst card um not necessarily worse than the the tarot uh tower not tarot tower some think it's worse not worse than a tower but it's up there in in terms of degree so give yourself some uh time to take a break uh, from whatever it is that's uh, creating an increase in uh, turmoil type of energy for you. Okay, so this is your energy, Aquarius and Libra once more. All right, and that's male or female. Following the four swords, uh, now we have the lovers. So again, you having some favorite 
cards show up here, Major Arcana, and this is your energy, Gemini. So the lovers represents all things related to those relationships. Uh, this is an open general reading, so it could be uh, romantic, definitely romantic, platonic. It could be uh, business related. It could be someone's traveling together uh, in a romantic sense or just traveling along with a good friend or it could be a family member, could be uh, traveling overseas. I just see over water. OK, <laughs> I see over water. And this also reminds me almost like the six of swords in any other deck. OK, because it's usually a boat and then it's usually a person there. And then there's two people huddled in the uh, boat. But this is the major arcana, the lovers. So don't get it twisted with the six of swords. But it is part of your energies and that of Libra and um, Aquarius, male or female. So. The focus is on relationships even more so because the uh, shadow card energy, the queen has shown up for you and then the king of cups. So but I do feel that I'm still going to stick to my uh, original uh, message that this uh, king who is looking at the three of swords or in the direction of the three of swords, there's something that he has to give himself enough time to uh, think about before there's a presentation of decision making and the decision making might be painful. This three of, uh, I will, well, I'll get back to the three of swords. Okay, let me follow through. The next card after the lover's card, Gemini here. So you got two major arcanas here. Uh, three major arcanas, I'm sorry, the hangman is included. Uh, so we have the ace of pentacles. I'm sorry. That's why I said I have to look at these damn cards uh, correctly and stuff. And I do have my glasses on. This is the ace of cups. So the Ace of Cups is following the Lover's card. So definitely for some of you could be uh, that exchange with the King of Cups, Queen of Cups showing up here, uh, having some sort of pleasantries with, uh, uh, you know, having interactions with other people. You know, it could be new connections, romantic, platonic, King and King. Uh, King and queen always gives me the older feel. So it could be just uh, those pleasantries exchanged with elders or your, you know, mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, as I always say. This is a renewal of energy. So some of you might, uh, if you were dealing with a difficult situation, there might be a spark or a renewal or beginning again fresh start new beginnings now it's not exactly the full card but i can still say that because the aces are always about something new uh beginning to uh start up for you it represents the ace of cups represents uh cancer scorpio or pisces male or female but it's about emotions it's about a, it's about love it could be a birth of a child it could be a, a job offering all those things are coming in uh with the ace of cups okay so so far to be all honest with you, Gemini, this is looking pretty good, okay? Uh, do not focus too much on the Three of Swords. This energy is specific for uh, maybe one or two of you. All right, so following the Ace of Cups here, we have the Hermit, another major arcana. I apologize for that quick pause. I just was happening to looking at the Ace of Cups one more time because I thought I saw something. The Hermit is, again, in connection with the Hangman and having to uh, disconnect your energies from those things that may be um, building up in terms of a little bit of turmoil. Not me, not necessarily maybe turmoil for everybody, but this is still a card that says, OK, I need to pull back. This is a card of meditation. So it could be just, you know, some of you um, getting into meditation, learning how to meditate, uh, spending some quiet time by yourselves. And, and that's OK, you know. Um, but the bright light here that he always holds up the lantern is always when he when he or she is done evaluating, uh, pulling their energies back from whatever it is that they needed to pull their energies back from. They're coming out with a perspective, a clearer perspective. OK, they have the. They have the answers. They may have arrived at the answers. Now, what's absent here, which usually is in the depiction of the hermit, uh, is a scythe. But there is no scythe here. It looks like he's now it might be a scythe, but I'm looking at a, a, a just a rod or something that he's holding. Normally, the scythe is prominent. So um, it may be that the lack of the scythe that's showing up here is about um, not too much emphasis on decision making. So maybe it's just you having to pull your energies back. Um, just think about something or evaluate something and it's not so serious. Hermit represents Virgo, 
the other earth energies, Taurus and Capricorn as well. Following the hermit card, Gemini, we have, ooh, now we have the magician, another major arcana. So your reading is being dominated here by major arcana. So this is intense uh, energy here. One, two, three, four, and then now you have five. Five major arcanas is only an eight card spread. Interesting, interesting. So this magician, as you always well, as you always know, how I um, interpret this uh, magician, there's two sides, okay? Positive side is it's about manifestation. It's the number one. It's linked to the Ace of Cups, okay? Starting new things or wanting to begin new things. Uh, you have everything at your uh, disposal to manifest whatever it is that you want to bring into your life, uh, Gemini, whether it's a relationship, you know, whether you want to move, whether you want to take that vacation, um, get that new job, whatever, change careers and so forth. That's the positive aspect. The negative aspect of the magician is, well, I read it as an actual person. The magician always puts on a mask. This is a manipulator. This is a trickster. This is someone who is false in terms of their energies. Um, because of the court cards, the lovers, uh, not the lovers, I'm sorry, the major arcana, the lovers and the court cards, the king of cups and the queen of cups. Be very, very careful in terms of uh, the people that you uh, encounter this upcoming week, whether especially if they're new, see people for who they are and not what you want them to be. If they show you who they are, don't bypass that. OK, because that's they're telling you who they are right up front. Uh, sometimes we can take a blind eye to some things that we don't want to see, uh, but don't do that this week. OK, it's very important. So this person. Uh, the magician that would represent, yeah, the magician on the negative side would represent a sociopath narcissist. Uh, they usually target people uh, for something specific. They usually come after you for something specific. It doesn't necessarily have to be one thing. It could be multiple things. This could be family members. This could be uh, people that you already are dealing with, friendships or romantic partnerships. And my only advice when I come up with these energies, Gemini, is that if you can recognize and identify the people that you're working with or dealing with, um, just try to distance yourself the best that you can because they will, they're emotional vampires. They lack empathy. They don't know how to love. All they know about is trying to, um, it's like they're parasitic. They're like parasites. They are, you know, those blood suckers. Once they attach their energy to you, they'll suck you dry. So just be careful. And then after they've um, used you or got whatever supply that they came after you for, then they, you know, you're left emotionally hanging and they don't care. They're going to move on to the next supplier. So be very, very careful here. I mean, I I stress enough and I emphasize enough about the uh, negative aspects of the magician because they exist they do exist, okay? And I know people would, uh, some people might get upset, but, you know, our president, he's a narcissist. He's a, he's a malignant uh, narcissist, and that's like the worst kind. Once they use you, they discard you. And I don't even need to get into no, you know, no, no spiel about some of the things that he has done to other people. Everyone who's turned on him, he's thrown them under the bus, uh, or someone who is not in favor of him, he's thrown them under the bus. That's what they do. Okay, so pay attention. Pay attention. Following the magician, um, we have the Ten of Swords. So now this Ten of Swords is showing up here, but actually the Ten of Swords I like in the upright position because first and foremost, it could be that someone is having routine uh, inpatient, outpatient uh, surgical procedures. It's going to be painful. It may not be a Gemini that I'm reading for, but it may be someone uh, that Gemini is close to because we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups showing up here. These are actual people. The magician is an actual person. Um, so yeah, it could be someone else that's um, in the family. Maybe the Three of Swords is part of the you know, instruments in terms of uh, cutting incisions, painful stuff. All right. So but this is a clearance. It's a number 10. So it will be uh, energy that will clear if there was some sort of conflicting stuff that you may have been dealing with from a previous um, or your recent past. All right. So now this is saying that there's going to be some sort of clearing for some of you related to uh, some situations or uh, 
very much don't want to stress all situations because we always have that residual stuff that we have to deal with. So there is a clearing of energies. So this Ten of Swords represents your energy, Gemini, and of course, Aquarius and Libra, male or female. That's interesting. Your last card in this is this spread here. Wow. Powerful spread in terms of energies. We have now we have the Queen of Wands. OK, so here's the Queen of Wands. She's the third court card here. So there's a, a whole uh, representative, you know, representative, I'm sorry, type of energy where you're focused Sexual energy, sexual expression, uh, things heating up. This is a court card that represents could represent an actual person. And when it comes to the other cards that have been thrown out here, I feel that they're um, this is Nancy Pelosi. OK, <laughs> but whatever she's getting ready to do, uh, I don't know. So we'll see what happens. And um, you guys throw in the comments because uh, I don't watch the news too much. It's just been too tragic uh, to even. I'll sit there and watch the news. Um, you know, every day is some shit going on here, and I don't like to involve my energy in that type of uh, type of stuff. Okay, so anyway, um, and I did, you know what? I did record uh, in one of the videos earlier. I don't know which one it was, and then we. I just happened to go on. I think I, you know, was online, and MSM always comes up on my uh, computer as my homepage. And then I saw the earthquake, 7.7, 7, um, Cuba and Jamaica, somewhere like that. And the tower had shown up uh, for one of the signs. I can't remember. So that probably was part of that energy. Anyway, um, Queen of Wands represents Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. Okay, so things heating up, things that you're passionate about, something that could be intense for you. Um, but your focus some of your focus. Okay. So interesting. So that's what I have. Uh, and let me just talk a little bit more about the three of swords and why it's popped out here, because this is a card that always seems to uh, play some type of integral ro uh, role. Um, and you know, in the energies that may uh, potentially come out for us. All right. And you know, and I don't expect people, uh, who deal with the three of swords or if they are, you know, ever dealing with the three of swords to, comment about it you know because it's such a you know could be such a personal things for uh, some of us so um it's here so it's pending divorces it could be i always say that it involves uh you know a loss of a pet or something like that it may not involve a physical loss but it does if it is it's the uh, family members who are grieving of the uh separation and it's causing heartache the um three of swords also can come into um for those who are you know, like coupled uh, and there's no problems going on. But what comes in between them is the distance and that causes separation and heartache. You know, you want to be with your significant other. And then because of, you know, uh, military or work uh, commitments and stuff like that, then there's a separation. Um, someone could be, you know, trying to form a wedge between you and something that you want or someone that you want. This is also related to, like I said, painful decisions, three choices to possibly make three. The offerings are here, so it might be three offerings or three things that are offered to you, but they're you're undecided and is causing some sort of grief or having to decide. Maybe the reason why the hermit and the um, hangman is showing up here, because if someone is uh, having to deal with that type of energy this upcoming week, the hermit and the uh, hangman is saying, hey, you have to think about things a little bit further before you, you know, forge ahead um, with any decision making. About that, Gemini, I was talking about the three of swords. And of course, uh, I think I went at length and talking too damn much and <laughs> the recorder cut off. So I was talking about the three of swords of how it's, it's a lot of things that could be um, experienced uh, with the three of swords. Like I said, pending divorces, uh, loss of a pet three choices to make that may be painful. Um, someone forming a wedge be, uh, between you and something that you want, someone that you want. And also too, whenever the three of swords shows up here, it, when it comes to love relationships, it represents the other woman. 
Okay, so there might be another woman or another entity going on, third party uh, interest. All right, so that's what I have for you, uh, Gemini. Um, uh, I am happy, though, to say that when I uh, have these little recording stoppages that I'm able to um, just put it all in one timeline on my record on my editor so that I'm not putting up two videos uh, because that is time consuming. So I can do it all in one shot. So um, that has taken a little bit of pressure off of me and um, yeah, see how that works out. But anyway, you guys have a great week. Uh, please be safe in all that you do. Uh, always emphasizing that safety and uh, wishing you all quite a bit of love and light your way uh, until I talk to you again. Interesting energies. Uh, and, and please throw in the comments because I'm, I'm really curious to see what's going on here because you have some uh, powerful, powerful major arcanas here um, that's either, well, they're positive, but they're either going to be in support of you or there's something else that's going on in terms of the shift of energies. All right. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. All right. Take care. Bye.